Welcome to Warner's Wheeling About. Just me messing around in my wheelchair and my cars. Okay, so here we have a problem already. Hello folks, welcome to another video. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm heading for Chesterfield and um, I'm going to check out an Instavolt charger there. Um, but the planning hasn't been as simple as I thought. Um, when I woke up this morning I checked the Mini app and I had 55 miles of range and I checked on Google Maps and it showed me three different routes the shortest of which was 43 miles so I thought well that's no problem I can get there with, with plenty of range to spare so we get in the car and um, I enter the destination into the mini navigation system and immediately it pops up and tells me that I don't have enough range to get there and I noticed that my range has dropped from 55 to 40 miles and we haven't moved an inch. So, okay, um, we're traveling via Gainsborough, Retford and Workshop. So I figured, okay, see what happens because there's plenty of charges on the way. So we traveled 12 miles to Gainsborough and the range has gone up to 44 miles. So that would have been actually 56 miles according to the original prediction which is about what the Mini Connect app said, the Mini Connect app said 55. Anyway I've pulled over into a lay-by and I've ditched the Mini navigation system because it doesn't show me which route it's taken. I, I haven't got time to fiddle around you know with the operating system to figure out you know choice of routes etc etc. So I've gone straight back to Google Maps which easily allows me to check which one of the three routes I want, which I did. So now I've reset everything. I'm uh, 24 miles from our destination and I've got 42 miles of range. So very difficult to, uh, to plan with all of this uh, very flexible, predictive technology. So anyway, let's see how we go. This was interesting, don't be fooled, it's a Toyota MR2. Okay, so here we have a problem already. How am I going to park in here? Well, we made it to KFC in Chesterfield, and this is the Instavolt charger. Um, one of the charge bays is currently being used, and um, as you can see, because the parking space is so narrow, I'm not going to be able to get out. Um, Instavolt's installations really are naive. The machine is set back well over a foot from the curb, plus it's raised up about eight inches yet you've got manicured grass and it's surrounded with gravel it's just impossible if you're disabled i can't charge here so i'm going to look for another charger as you can see i've still got 26 miles of range we've traveled 43 miles so that's actually 69 miles compared to the predicted 55. next to kfc is the marston's pub the little castle um, just across the road and it looked like this guy was about to finish his charge so just waiting for him to 
vacate the bay and then I can park in there. As you can see, I was able to park uh, because this space is empty. Um, I can actually get out of my car. So once again, I've left my door open so nobody parks here. Um, I've got just out enough room at the back of the car to get the wheelchair out. And there are no bump stops. So that's good. That's uh, giving me access. I'm not sure yet whether I can use this Osprey it's one of their older installations um, and they're not all accessible but this one looks a possibility so I'm going to give it a try. As you can see, we've got a curb and then we've got a plinth. So this machine is actually probably about nine inches raised above the actual car park surface. Um, however, I can reach I can reach the holster. So that's good. Okay, so that wasn't too difficult. You know, to be honest with you, the cable's quite heavy. Um, you've got to learn the technique of where to put the cable, where to put the, where to put the gun, the plug, if you like. Um, because obviously in a wheelchair, you are susceptible to falling over, you know, falling over backwards as I've done before. So I took my time, made sure I've got my balance and got a good hold of the, the cable before before I tried to plug it in. Um, okay, so now I've got to get back to the machine under the cable. Now you can see what I'm talking about, how the bump stops get in the way. You need you need room to be able to do a 360. Now, I've got my card. I can't see the screen. Um, no, just show me that. Yep. Unfortunately, I, I can't. Number one, I couldn't read the screen because of the sun reflecting on the angle. And number two, I couldn't actually reach it either from, from here. Um, so I'm going to have to get my wife to, to, to do this part. Tap the card reader with your credit card and then select, in our case, CCS.
press start. I'm a bit curious why they use a two-door sports car as the graphic for an EV. You don't see many of those around. Anyway, wait a short while for the unit to connect to your car and then the, the charge will start. There we are, that's started. So as you can see, the extra nine inches that this is off the ground means that the screen is nine inches higher and uh, just puts it out of reach and out of sight for me. Now, this is an old installation from Osprey. I do know, as a matter of fact, that their new installations are no longer like this. They've actually redesigned them to be much more accessible. But I did want to try this one today because I thought I could use it. And I was, you know, 80% of the way there. Um, but anyway, let's get something to eat. Well, that was very convenient. 49 minutes, plenty of time to eat our meal and got the car back to 99%. Cost 11 pounds 30. We're averaging about five miles per kilowatt hour. So that's gonna be just over two pence per mile. In fact, the 5.1 would mean a range of 147 miles, which is about what many claim you can do. We're actually quite close to Bolsover Castle, so we're going to go and take a look. So check that video out later. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. It really helps me if you can give me a like and share. And please subscribe and ring that bell icon so you're notified each time I post a new video. See you in the next one. Bye.